This episode of Tech Time will provide instructions for syncing your OneDrive. You will need your laptop pulled out, powered on, and an internet browser open. To access your OneDrive account, open the internet and navigate to office365.fwisd.org. Log in with your credentials, S ID number at STU. Dot .fwisd.org that's your username and then use the password that you use to get on to your laptop when you log in to your office 365 account it's automatically going to take you into your mail account and how you get to your OneDrive is you navigate to your app launcher in the upper left and then you're going to choose OneDrive from the icons and if it's the first time you're going into your OneDrive account, it's going to have you set up your OneDrive. So click Next, give it OK, and then it will bring you to a screen that looks kind of like mine. Yours will probably be empty, whereas my OneDrive is full of files already. So what is OneDrive? OneDrive is your cloud storage account through your 365. So this is the place where you should be saving your files instead of saving them on your computer. What some of you have noticed already is that when you try to save files to your computer storage, they're not accessible when you go home. That's because the storage that's on your laptops is tied to the FWISD Wi-Fi. And if you're not on our network, when you go home, you're not going to be able to access those files. So get into the habit of using your OneDrive to store all of your files. Your OneDrive is based in the internet. It is cloud storage. So anywhere that you have internet, you're going to be able to access your OneDrive files. You can store whatever kind of file you want in your OneDrive. Pictures, PDFs, Microsoft files such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of those things can be stored in your OneDrive. Another reason you want to use your OneDrive storage instead of your computer storage is there are sometimes things that happen to your laptop that render it useless. So if it breaks, if it gets lost or stolen, um, if something happens to your internet connection and we have to reset your laptop, all the files that are on your computer get lost when those things happen. So if you use cloud storage, you're not going to lose your files because they are based in the internet. The last thing I want to show you is called the sync feature. So we've created a new document in our OneDrive. We've uploaded to our OneDrive. We're not going to sync. What Sync is going to let us do is when I click that button, it's going to create a folder on my computer called OneDrive for Business. And that folder is going to let me put documents into it and any document I put in that folder is going to automatically upload into my OneDrive. So to show you what that looks like, let me go ahead and delete this upload to OneDrive. Delete it. And I still have that new file called file I just made. So you'll see that one when I sync, but we're going to upload the Word document when I sync so that you can see that file move from my computer into my OneDrive. Click that sync button and this is going to work with your student computers because your student computers have Windows 8. So that's what's going to let this work so seamlessly is you have Office 2013, Windows 8, that sync button is going to work for you. We're going to sync now and then you might get some different messages than I do because I've actually already synced my OneDrive. You're syncing your OneDrive for the first time. So it might have you log in. Remember that your login has at stu.fwisd.org in it. Make sure you include that tail on there. And I'm going to sync now. And it's going to get ready to sync. And the next message it'll have for me, it will let me go look at those files as they sync to my computer. And here is that local file on my computer. So if I wanted to get back to this file, if I close this, I just click on my file manager and then I'm looking for OneDrive for business. And when I click on that, here are those files. And you can see how these files are the exact same ones that are in my OneDrive including the file that I made online, file I just made. I made this one in Excel online and it's now on my computer.
What's important to know about these files is that this file here is the same file as right here. It's just that I can get to it in two different ways. I can get to it in my 365 account and I can get to it on my computer. These files are now accessible when I don't have the internet. So remember 365 OneDrive is on the internet. I can't access those files unless I have an internet connection. These files that are on my computer in my OneDrive for Business account are accessible without Wi-Fi. So if I lost Wi-Fi right now, I would still be able to open these files and make edits to them and it's going to save it. On the next episode of Tech Time, we will cover how to save documents to your newly synced OneDrive folder.